boy everyone marches here welcome to the channel and for today's video we will be doing an unboxing and initial impression of the Jaden 2 so before we start guys I would just like to remind you if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel please do so and send us a like and of course share it to your friends it will go a long way and follow me in Instagram I am Mark Chess, hopefully to see you there. So here in front of me is the Jalen 2, the second signature sneaker of Jeremy Lin from X-Step. So X-Step has known to be a running sneaker company, but ever since they signed Jeremy Lin, they have kind of been active in the basketball sneaker world. I have a couple of Jalen sneaker here. Uh, right now, this one, one of my favorite colorways of the Jalen one. It looks really dope. And I have another except basketball sneaker. Except mm. basketball sneaker here that I haven't reviewed yet, but I will soon review because I have a lot of sneakers currently right now in line for the videos. But this one is another except basketball sneaker and it looks and feels very, very nice. But of course, what we are going to discuss is the Jalen 2. It's relatively new. It was just released over at xstep.com. So I'll be putting the link down below where you can buy it. And there's a promo code too that I'll be giving and sharing to you. So you can order it from them. Then if you're worrying about the shipping, the shipping cost will be computed over at that site. So there's no extra hidden costs afterwards and enter the discount code for the Jaden 2 so you can try this very awesome seeker yeah it's awesome man so let's start off first with the upper the upper of the Jaden 2 is one aspect that xstep leaned towards more to the performance instead of the comfort although i'm not saying it's uncomfortable but it is not the most comfortable upper because it uses a lot of fusing for the upper a lot of rip stop in the forefoot and fusing around the edges of the Jalen and going to the side panels of the Jalen also is a window of a rib stop. Although this kind of rib stop is the newer ones, which is soft, but this fusing, this plastic here is really, really crunchy. So it gives me the vibes uh, of the BYWX version two, if you've seen my video about that. So that's how fuse it is on the panels of the Jaden 2 and it goes to the back part of the sneaker and there's an external plastic piece here for external heel cup like I've said for the upper it's not the most comfortable but it is not uncomfortable it's still pretty good maybe if they I would recommend maybe changing the fuse part here to become leather or harder textile or canvas I think it will be good but I know where Xstep is coming from. They really want the Jaden 2 to be a really supportive sneaker. And it actually worked. So if I'm gauging comfort versus the support performance that you'll be getting, of course, the support performance that you'll be getting out of the Jaden 2 will be more favorable. It really cages your foot, especially this lateral plastic here that looks like wings. So when you're tightening up this first two layers of laces this wings will pull your foot down to the footbed and give you the support that you need especially laterally and give you a better one-to-one -one fit to the sneakers since the material is not shaping too much on your foot but this wings pulls your foot down to the footbed to give you that lockdown that you need and as for the midfoot part you can see the ripstop there's kind of lines here that looks like strap also acts as extra support to the sneaker so when you tighten up the next two layers of laces kind of pulls you down to the footbed so the loops the lace loops are actually strings going down to the footbed like straps and like flywire cables so the lockdown the feel of the Jaden 2 is a, I think a huge improvement from the Jaden 1 although the materials of the Jaden 1, I like it better compared to the Jaden 2. But in terms of performance, I would lean more to the support on the Jaden 2, which is really, really nice. I think the Jaden 1 support is good enough, but on the Jaden 2, the support stepped up 
a bit more. Now moving on to the heel part of the Jaden 2. It's a low cut sneaker and there's an internal heel cup too plus this external heel cup. Plus the Achilles pillows are kind of in a weird position. It's, it's more on the side compared to the usual Achilles pillows that are found at the back part of the Achilles or near the Achilles. So this one also works but you just have to really tighten the laces so that you will feel more secure and these two pillows will really hug your ankles so that lockdown will be very very good to the sneaker. And as for the tongue, it has a traditional tongue and it works perfectly. The lacing system is traditional. You can easily adjust it to your fit, to your foot shape. So that's what I like about the JD2 is they didn't change it up on the lacing system. They just gave us what works already. The Jaden 2 comes with this rounded laces and actually it was kind of loosening up when I was playing with it. But good thing is they added an extra set of lace which is flat lace. So I think the round lace you could rock it more for lifestyle wear. But if more for performance, I recommend you using the flat laces which I think I'll be switching after this video. So there's an extra set of laces for the Jaden 2s. And some other details to notice are the fuse parts have spot laminations. There's some graphic patterns over this fusing, which I think is dope. And on the middle part, there's the signature of Jeremy Lin. And at the back part, of course, JL and Jeremy Lin on the tongue and his logo. Now let's move on to the cushion of the Jalen 2, which I think is the main highlight of the Jalen 2. This is the one drastic thing that they changed from the Jalen 1 is they gave us the all new X-Step Boom. So X-Step Boom is I think quite similar to the Boom found in Leaning. Boom cushioning is actually the same compound used in Boost. So if you are a fan of Boost like I am in the basketball sneaker, you would surely love the X-Step Boom on the Jalen 2. It's really bouncy, impact protection, the heel is really, really nice. The cushioning on the sneaker is what I really love about the Jalen 2. It's a must try guys, since a lot of Adidas sneakers right now are moving more to the bounce light strike cushioning and they're not using boost that much as a full length boost. This is a full length X-Step Boom and feels really, really squishy on the heel. Plus, when you jump in the forefoot, you will feel the bounce in the forefoot. And, but if you're just walking, you would feel the plushness of the boom. But when you're activating the boom cushion, it will give you the bounce back that you need. And now moving on to another thing that I really like about the Jaden 2 is the traction. Although this is an icy outsole pattern traction, it was still very good. I actually tried it first in a very, very dusty floor that's really not maintained. The traction was really gripping hard, squeaking hard, and the traction pattern is actually nice. It has the X-Step logo all over, small X all throughout the traction of the Jaden 2. And it's pretty nice, guys. I like how they innovated the X and What's important is it works. Actually, on the second day that I played with, the uh, Jaden 2 was uh, on a clean court. And it was gripping really hard. Then on the third day, I, I used it on a very rough court. It's like an outdoor court that is used for a 3x3. Those crate-like floors that has very rough texture. So I actually kind of played outdoors with this already. But the traction, I didn't see any fraying on the rubber compound. The rubber compound is very durable and as for the outsole, another feature of the outsole is it has a very nice lateral outrigger here for stability. Even when you look at the outsole, the forefoot is wide and even on the heel, it's pretty wide. So this is, I think, wider compared to the first one. The Jalen 2's outsole is a lot wider compared to the Jalen 1. So as for the sizing of the Jalen 2, it is priced at 140 US dollars. So, so if you use my code PH10, it will give you extra 10% discount. If you avail this over at the XTEP site, I'll be putting the link down in the description below. 
then they will give you the amount of the sneaker and where it will ship if it's in the Philippines. They will compute the shipping costs and you won't need to pay extra when this arrived to me. I didn't need to pay anything from the customs already. So that is the final price of the sneaker. And as for the sizing of the Jaden 2, go with your Euro size. I am Euro 44 with the Jaden 2, but look at their US size. It is US 9. So go with the Euro size to be safe. And with this kind of material, I don't want my toes to be really, really close to the material because it might not be comfortable. So, so regular footers go through to size with your Euro size and half size up or maybe one size up Euro 45, but like for me Euro 44. But if you're a wide footer, go Euro 45. So that's it on my initial impression, review, unboxing of the Jaden 2. Let me know what you think about the Jaden 2. I mean, it's a really nice upgrade from the Jaden 1. If you're a fan of Jaden or if you're not a fan of Jaden, but you want to try other brand sneakers, like a China brand sneakers that actually works and is a good performer. So go ahead and try the Jaden 2. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. So this has been Marches once again. Thank you for dropping by this channel. I appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next video. Cheers.